Good afternoon, good evening, or good morning, wherever you are. I trust that everybody is doing well and staying healthy in this difficult time. Um, this is the Designing Retail Spaces with Biamp webinar. My name is Ian Hodgkinson, and I work with Biamp Systems based in the UK. I joined Apart Audio in September 2009, and as many of you know, that was acquired by Biamp uh, in the middle of last year. Before that, I was also had the, uh, the privilege of working with Biamp for nine years before that, so I've been with Biamp for quite some years, uh, all in all. So today we're going to give you an overview, firstly, of uh, Biamp as a company. So the company was founded in 1976, and the headquarters are in Beaverton on the west, northwest coast of uh, North America. We also have R&D centers all over the world, predominantly in Beaverton, two other, three other locations in North America, Antwerp in Belgium, Brisbane in Australia, and now Modena in Italy. And we have manufacturing plants in two in North America, and then of course we outsource uh, some production into China. We have support centers all over the globe in North America, the UK, Belgium in Ant Antwerp in Belgium, of course, in Germany, Italy, Dubai, India, Singapore, Hong Kong, and Australia. So truly global coverage for the support. And then sales and support, we have uh, many sales members all over the globe as well. And we also have distribution in over 120 countries now. So we really do have great coverage all over the world. So the vertical markets that Biamp cover, heavily into business, education, and government markets, of course. Sports venues is something which came to the group uh, with the acquisition of community, of course. Of course, and then healthcare, houses of worship, and transportation. And then what we're here today to talk about is the retail opportunity for all of you. And of course, we are heavily into the hospitality, food and beverage market as well. The product families that Biamp offers, so Tessera and Bochia, many of you will know those uh, high-end DSP uh, open architecture functionality. Then Parley microphones, Discerno loudspeakers, Devio uh, huddle room solutions, Cambridge Sound Management um, for sound masking solutions, recently introduced Crowdmarks, which is event audience engagement, Sageview, which can bring all of these products together and be remotely uh, administered. Community professional loudspeakers for large-scale venues, and of Part Audio, of course. <coughs> excuse me, which is part of the group and offers loudspeakers and electronics for fixed-installed um, professional audio in the small to medium-sized business. On the product side, we have pretty much everything covered in the audio world now. So from UC collaboration with Devio with microphones, of course, now, in through distributed audio and background music, dipping our toe into network audio, uh, video in the business area, public address systems, mass notification, staging, entertainment, and sound masking all up on the enterprise end of the business. So a large amount of products and applications that we can cover now. So the agenda for today is based on retail. So why would you want to focus on retail is the first thing we're going to cover why would somebody really want to have audio in retail secondly then the needs of an audio system for retail what we can do in terms of products and how we can support you in the retail business and then lastly the q a section so in your go to webinar screen you will see that there is a question section if at any time you um, want to ask a question please do it there but we're going to come to the questions at the end of the presentation. And the question already come in actually, can you share the presentation? Absolutely, the presentation and the, uh, the video of the presentation will be shared with you, I think, in the next 48 hours. <clears throat> so no worries about taking notes and all that stuff. You can uh, get a copy of this presentation straight after the, the event. So why focus on retail to start with? So bluntly, it is everywhere. Everywhere you go, well, except on the lockdown situation currently, it is everywhere. It's the whole world is based around retail and the opportunities for buying stuff. You will see loudspeakers, 
hiding in plain sight. So in this application, you can see a greengrocer's with a couple of mask speakers there, quite hidden away. Unless you know they're there, you're uh, not really going to notice them. And I encourage you to look up when you're out shopping. So this is the local shop I was in at the weekend, and there's some loudspeakers just sitting there, um, quite hidden away, not too obtrusive. Some examples of applications, fashion stores, of course, supermarkets, cafes, snack bars, and bakeries, of course. Large shopping malls where you normally have a individual audio system in each of the units, and then you have a, a separate system in the main body of the shopping mall. Car showrooms, petrol stations, all of these places need audio, even bathrooms. So this company is a Dutch company who is trying to improve the experience, let's say, of going to the bathroom. And they're doing that by having some audio in there to um, reduce the effects of certain noises, let's say. So the potential of the market really is quite enormous. So in the EMEA region, retail accounts for 50% of the gross income of the region, which is quite astounding. That market is divided, as you can see on this pie chart, with grocers and non-grocers, retail outlets, clothing and foot share, footwear, health and beauty, electronics, and so on. So really is a massive potential. It also has to be said that 22% of the European retail market is based in the UK, France, and Germany. So everybody who's located there, you really do have a, a massive opportunity here. It can be seen that in the EMEA region, there are over 7 million bricks and mortar, i.e. real retailers with stores that you can go and visit. On average, they normally need an audio installation with a value of around 3,000 euros. So 20 billion potential for the audio sector, which is not too bad. It can also be seen that these stores have a high renewal rate. So stores move around, they close, they open quite frequently. So the audio system normally has a, a life of about four or five years. So there's a recurring opportunity there. But it has to be said, most retailers are looking to improve their customer experience. And these audio systems are typically quite low complexity. So nothing particularly fancy or expensive, but you will, of course, come across very complex systems in a larger scale supermarket. It is a recurring business opportunity and 60% of opportunities are, have multiple locations for their stores. So it's a rollout you can put all over the world if need be. So going back to basics, why have audio in retail? What's the possibilities or why would somebody want this? <laughs> so it can be seen shopping is in a store is no longer just driven by necessity. It's a sense of discovery for people visiting and the excitement of finding something new. Physical stores have the opportunity to do this better than everybody else because they can engage all five senses. This means that they have a great opportunity to forge connections emotionally with customers. We also have analysis that says playing music, which can be seen as complementary to the retail outlet, will increase or can increase sales by 5%, whereas playing music which clashes with the brand has the potential to reduce it by 4%. So music selection is very important, of course. Also, you can see that slower music encourages browsing. People stay in the store an awful lot longer. They're very comfortable. Therefore, it can increase sales by up to 30, 38%. Conversely, higher tempo background music results in people not feeling so comfortable, shopping faster, getting what they need, and leaving the store, ultimately buying less. But it can be seen that shoppers spend on average $33 more per visit when there is music playing. Some other analysis, over 75% of people say that when they're waiting in queues to check out of a supermarket, for example, it's less dull if their music is playing because they're comfortable. They're, they're feeling a lot more happy about being there. Also, eight in 10 consumers like music in store when they shop, again, because they feel comfortable. And the, remote, the right music playing in a shop makes 46% of consumers feel happy. And a happy customer is someone who's going to buy more product, hopefully. The other reason for having audio in retail is, of course, communication. So customer announcements, this could be things like special offers on a particular product, or indeed the store closing in 10 minutes. So please take your purchases to the exit. 
Another reason is for staff communication, asking people to go to the checkouts to assist or to help somebody on a particular question they have in the store. We've also seen automated checkouts opening. So this is cameras recognizing that there's a long queue at the checkouts and automatically opening a new checkout kiosk, for example, and making an audio announcement to reflect that fact. And then of course there are emergency situations. It could be someone who's had an accident. It could be a, a fire, for example. Anything to do with emergency is ultimately very important and we have to be aware of the need for that in the audio system. So let's go through the basic needs of a retail audio system. So of course, to start with, you probably need some loudspeakers so that people can hear what's going on. And we'll talk about the choice of those and how you position them and um, work out what you need in terms of loudspeakers later on. You will need some sort of processing and amplification. You'll need amplifiers, either separate modules of amplifiers or speakers with amplifiers built in, or a mixer, for example, with an amplifier built in. So here, just the clarity, I've just bundled it as one block, processing and amplification. <coughs> Excuse me. Then of course, on the input side, you've got background music, often called BGM. And this is typically music that is played whilst other activity is going on. So in this case, people shopping. They're not necessarily actively listening to it, but they're possibly aware of it or subliminally aware of it, which makes them feel comfortable and, and, and like being where they are. You also have manual announcements, so paging using a paging station like this one. And you have automated announcements. So this could be a digital message player, which can be played out uh, manually from a user control, or it can be scheduled so that at a particular time every day, it plays a message. So this is very common in stores to help people understand about special offers or um, a promotion that they're doing at a particular time. So that is really the basics of an audio system. Now, you can build on that, of course, but this is a perfectly valid system that you could use. You can firstly build on it by, instead of having the one zone of speaker outputs, you could have multiple zones. So each of those speakers, or what's represented as a single speaker, could be multiple loudspeakers in a particular zone of the store, and that could receive its own type of music, depending on the, the needs of that zone. And you could also page one of the zones individually. So rather than always paging all of the zones, you can choose to page a particular area. <coughs> Same with the digital messaging, you can choose which zones to play that music back in. I've shown four speakers here, or four zones of speakers, but of course it could be hundreds could be hundreds of speakers in multiple zones. So we're just keeping it simple at this point. Now, possibly one of the most important things about a retail audio system is the user interfacing. So we have a variety of possibilities. You have the front panel controls of the product itself. So in a simple retail store, they use the front panel controls. Then we have wall panels. So these can be mounted remotely from the, the rack of electronics on a wall near the checkouts or near to the customer service desk, for example. And these could be for things like changing the volume of the audio, changing the source of the music and so on. You can also have ethernet devices. So smartphones or tablets, which are programmed with the controls that are needed by the user. So no more, no less. And then you have very simple volume control. So nothing to do with source selection, but just being able to turn the volume up and down within a certain range. Then we have the all important fire alarm interface. So this could be as simple as a contact closure, which when that contact closure from the fire alarm is active, it totally mutes the background music audio system so that the announcements or the alarm from the fire, fire alarm system can be heard. Equally, it could be a more complex system where you have a voice evacuation messages per zone or into all zones, telling people how to get out of the building safely in the event of a, a fire, for example. And that, of course, could be in different languages. So going back to the basics, user interfaces, let's be honest, the staff members are there to sell the goods or services, not to operate the sound system. Therefore, the user interfaces need to be discreet, they need to be simple, clear, and only do what is needed of them. The aesthetics of any equipment needs to be very high and highly accepted so that it complements the brand imagery. 
reliability is a, a given. It's not a good position to be in if the equipment fails and stops the, the retail environment from having the music, which is so important to their environment. Ease of installation. The installer normally has a small time allocated to work his magic, so therefore the products need to be simple to install, but to be able to give complex solutions. And all importantly, availability. The installer normally learns of the requirement, requirement right at the last minute, so he needs to get a system together, um, get it supplied to him, and get on site and install it. Um, so that's a very important thing regarding the needs of an audio system. Final part of the needs of an audio system is the content of the audio that is being played. Um, so the first thing to make sure that everybody understands is not acceptable and we should not allow the use of a smartphone or a device of one of the staff members just plugged into the system. That doesn't have its place in a professional market and in a, in a place where people are taking background music seriously. So on the music content, you need to consider the music genre and tempo because as we've seen, that affects the sales directly in the experience. You can also consider changing the music style according to the time of day and the customer type. For example, if it's younger people in certain time of day and more elderly people in another time. Also consider brand, brand image announcements. So reinforcing the location that they're in, that the, the visitors are in, and what this company can do for you uh, in terms of retail. All of this that we've talked about so far is an art form in itself. And it's, it's, it's got its own exact science and um, needs to be done very seriously. And there are companies, for example, some of these you may know, Mood Media, Play Network, Music Styling, My Install Radio. There are many companies now that do this. And what they do is they create a curated stream, so a, a dedicated stream for your store or your chain of stores. This can include advertising, and it's normally updated regularly to keep it fresh and to keep the, the feeling of the store new. <laughs> and all of these companies, they charge for their service, of course. So you have to ask the question, if you're paying for this service, why would you then play it through a poor sound system? So our systems go hand in hand with the music content that's being provided. Just to recap and to cover, clarify who are our customers? Who do we sell to as a group? So ultimately, yes, it's retail outlets, but normally we don't directly sell to them. They normally buy from somebody else rather than directly from us as a manufacturer or you as a distributor or an integrator. So one potential customer is the music content providers. They're 100% focused on our target market. Retail is their business. And they often, make installations of their own or offer the service of installation. So why not consider joining forces with your local content providers? You can go hand in hand, help them with what they need to make a successful installation of their service. Then, of course, at the other end, there are electrical installers and shop fitters. These guys provide A to Z uh, facilities for a project. So that could be the electrical installation, lighting, video, aircon, shop fittings, furniture, everything that is needed in a retail store. Why not include the audio system? So this is an opportunity again for you to work with these electrical installers so that you can help them understand audio and provide a solution for their customers. <laughs> Lastly, of course, there is direct business development. Now, this is normally quite big business and very complex to get involved in, where because you're normally dealing with a corporate head office. So in our experience, we've uh, done this with a lot of large companies around the world. And we really encourage you to use our expertise when you have opportunities like this. So we have a dedicated development team, business development team to support you on those meetings and work with you together to win the deal. Uh, honestly, they're great guys. They know what they're doing and they're completely focused on helping you for retail business. All right, so hopefully we're convinced that people need an audio system, why they need an audio system. So let's see what BIAMP have got that can help you in the retail installation business. So first of all, loudspeakers. Hopefully from these two, these few slides, you'll see that we've got everything you need for a successful retail installation. So loudspeakers, the things that make the noise at the end of the chain, 
we have a massive selection of loudspeakers. Simple built-in speakers can be built into the ceiling or to the wall where possible, with or without back cans, depending on the country that you're located in. Um, different sizes, different shapes to cover every little possibility that you have. Cabinet speakers mounted on a wall normally can be ceiling mounted, of course. We have different styles to fit in with the aesthetics of the, the building. Subwoofers to reinforce the sonic quality of the system. And then larger scale speakers. So if you have an event room which or a retail outlet which turns into an event room at night where you need higher SPL, we have the speakers for that as well. Pendant loudspeakers, a recent introduction where you have different, a different type of speaker which actually hangs down on a cord from the ceiling or from the facilities tray on the, in the roof void or the ceiling void. Different styles of loudspeakers with different applications and different um, capabilities. Then lastly, more industrial loudspeakers like horns and music projectors, great for things like car parks, um, petrol stations, where the audio quality is not actually the highest priority. The highest priority is actually getting the message across. Um, then also we have, if any of you have heard of EN54, this is a life safety uh, regulation where you need to comply with specific needs of life safety installation. So we have loudspeakers which cover all aspects of that as well. On the electronic side, broadly divided into music sources. So this could be as simple as a USB player. It could be an internet radio player. It could be a radio tuner. We have all of those available. Then we have mixing amplifiers and integrated amplifiers. In essence, these are devices which have a pre-amplifier or a mixer built in which, where you can take different music sources and different microphone level signals, mix them or switch them as required. And then that is fed into an amplifier which is built into the same device. So often called a packaged amplifier where everything is in there, where you just plug in your sources and connect the speakers to the same device. So very common in retail where you have a limited space to provide the, to install the electronics, but this can easily be hidden away somewhere in the installation. Then on pre-amplifiers, we have a vast range of pre-amplifiers and DSP systems going from simple, small uh, or single zone systems right up to as many zones as you want really with the, uh, the, the Tessera DSP and the Vochia DSP systems and everything in between. So we have everything that covers your requirements. Amplifiers, again, I've just shown a couple there. I think we probably have about 50 different uh, versions in our range in combined. So it's uh, basically anything that you need, low impedance or 170 volt applications for all of those, of course. Then the user interfaces, as we've highlighted, very important for any installation project. So the first part could be paging microphones. Again, different styles, different types of paging mics, depending on the products you're using and the application served. And then wall panels. So firstly, on the bottom left there, you see a simple volume control. So that's just a user interface to allow them to turn the volume up and down. And then it moves right across to ethernet enabled devices like a tablet or a smartphone. And in between devices which are customizable to your application and your need exactly as you, as you like. But in all cases, very aesthetically pleasing, something that any retail environment would be happy to have in their project. So you could be saying, okay, my project is not actually simple. It's quite demanding. So can I have things like centralized and control and monitoring? Yes, absolutely. Tessera Forte with SageView allows you to do exactly that. Uh, how about large scale systems with network media? Yep, we can also do that with our um, AVB and Dante connected devices. And possibly I didn't mention earlier on that we can also handle video over Ethernet. And if you need more details about that, very exciting possibilities with the products. Shopping malls, evacuation systems, yes, for Chia and EN54 loudspeakers from, uh, uh, from apart and from community families. We can, we can now provide you an end-to-end -end solution for EN54 projects. How about multifunction showrooms? Yes, to Sierra with the large venue loudspeakers, the higher SPL speakers. We can provide that system so that you can use it for simple retail during the day and then maybe in the evening it turns into a into a um, entertainment venue. Is there any project we can't handle? Probably not, but we really do welcome the challenge. So if you've got needs for these, please let us know. 
Okay, so let's get on to how Biab supports you in retail. So we've already looked at the products. Hopefully you can see that they do have a place for you. They can satisfy the needs that you have in retail projects. As we said before, user interface is probably one of the most important criteria for any system. I can tell you Biab products are designed for retail installations. You can see on the bottom left here, we have a mixing amplifier and a preamplifier. So these have been designed from the ground up to be for retail. So very simple to use on the front panel, uh, very simple for anybody of any um, capabilities to walk up to and make the system work. Wall panels, simple interfacing to the devices, allows us to supply user interfaces, which are very, applicable and accepted by the retail market. Aesthetics, we need to be complementary to the company image. So wall panels, loudspeakers, these are the things that are visible to the end users and to the retail store staff. So we feel these are very acceptable and indeed designed from the ground up for retail applications in mind. Reliability, we've already said the equipment needs to work without failures, or without the need for maintenance. Yep, buy-in products are designed for retail installations. Reliability is built in from day one of the design. This is one of our keywords that we need to satisfy for all of our products. And to back that up, we have a minimum five-year warranty on all of our products. Ease of installation. So as we said, the time of the installer is quite limited. So we've made our products with smart features which allow the products to be easily installed very quickly. So for example, on the rear panel of this uh, mixing amplifier, we always use the same layout of the inputs on the back panel. Also a great feature is our mask C wall mount speaker bracket. So this actually means that you mount the wall bracket onto the, onto the wall and connect the loudspeaker line to the bracket. So you don't actually have to have the speakers in the room whilst you're installing the sound system. And this is great because you can leave the speakers in their boxes away from the installation where there's gonna be dust, paint, and all sorts of dirt flying around. And then at the last minute, clip them onto the bracket. Availability, as we've said, the installer learns of the requirement at the last minute. So we hold enormous stock levels of our products because we're understanding that if we have the product available, it's more likely to be sold. We have global warehousing of our products to assist our distributors. And indeed our professional distribution partners all over the globe hold good levels of stock. So it's very good chance that you're gonna be able to get the product in very short time for your projects. We also support you with education. So design guides, for example. So on the biamp.com website, there is a design library section. And also on the Apart Audio website, there's a plug and play guide section. So on this screen, you can see the plug and play section of the, which is actually on the Apart Audio website. So this is showing you four different applications. I think there are something like 20 on there, but it shows you an application where you can find something that meets your requirements or is very close to your requirements and then can be adapted from there for your project. So these allow you to see an example of where you might mount the speakers and uh, how you would connect up the electronics and so on. We also have support for a, a program or a suite of programs called Ease. So Ease is a program or a suite of programs made by a company called AFMG in Germany. And the way this works is all loudspeaker manufacturers have the opportunity to have their loudspeakers independently analyzed. And from that analysis, a, a file called a GLL file is made, which is unique to each loudspeaker model. And this gives all of the data about that loudspeaker. Uh, and that's called a generic loudspeaker library. So it's a single file, quite a small size file, which details everything about that particular loudspeaker. Now AFMG make many different types or applications, or I beg your pardon, many different products in terms of software. Um, but four of these are quite applicable to us as uh, installers and designers of audio systems. So the first one is Ease, which is the full version of Ease. It's a very costly piece of software and very, very advanced, but it does allow you to produce 3D models of 
a space or a number of spaces which are joined together um, and allows you to install virtually the loudspeakers into your design on your computer and then it analyzes the wall coverings, the ceiling space, the materials used in the room, whether the temperature, what the temperature is and the humidity and so on and so on, everything that can affect the sound and it shows you on the screen how the room will sound with those loudspeakers installed into it. Now that's a very costly, very expensive solution in it, but it is something that we support as Biam. There are two other pieces of software which we use more often, Ease Address, which is a 2D modeling of the sound in a space. So normally looking down on a space and using ceiling speakers to cover the space with um, sound. But this only analyzes direct SPL. So it does not take into account any materials used in the room and it only and does not take into account any reflections of sound on walls or floors, for example. Ease Focus is probably our go-to product, and that allows us to do 3D modeling. So it's um, looking down from the top or from the side or any viewing angle. So you, again, you can do 3D modeling of the sound in a space, but only using direct SPL. And lastly, there is a very small piece of software into which you can load a specific GLL file, and you can then see the, the polar patterns, the sensitivity, and so on, all of the data which is in a single loudspeaker, just so that you can become familiar with it. And as I said, BIAMP GLL files support all applications, which I've mentioned here, but our go-to software that we use ourselves is generally Ease Focus. So looking at Ease Focus a little bit, what you can do with Ease Focus is, as you see, this is actually the screens of the software. So hopefully you can see in the center part, I've got a small graphic, which is a, a, in actually a floor plan of a, of a restaurant. And in that restaurant, I've taken the floor plan and I've added a couple of zones of audio where I want the audio to be. And I've just put one loudspeaker, which you can see in the bottom left as a square. And then you can see emitting from it is a representation of how loud that sound will be. And there's a, a key on the right hand side of the of the uh, graphic to tell you how loud it is at the red parts, the yellow parts, the blue parts, and the green parts. So using that, you can put multiple loudspeakers into a room, like this one, which is a real application where I've put in, what, eight loudspeakers pointed in different directions into the building. And I, according to the customer's requirements, I can make sure that we have the right sound pressure level in any part of the room, or indeed, we could have a low level sound pressure where there is gonna be a discussion going on, for example. And then equally, I can use a, or produce a distribution graph, which tells me the sound pressure level as a percentage across the whole, uh, frequent, uh, the, the whole SPL range of the system. So ultimately what you can use this for is firstly to work out how many loudspeakers that you need to actually cover the space and what type of loudspeakers. And it allows you to experiment with the different loudspeakers to get the solution that you, you need or require. And then of course, what you can do is create a report as a PDF from this software. And that shows you, um, for example, on the right-hand side, a diagram of this room with the eight speakers in it. And it shows you the SPL level as a representation in the room. It shows me the sound sources that I need and even gives me an installation guide of where they need to be installed. And it shows me the SPL distribution as level over the whole building. So this report is very useful because it becomes part of your offer to a customer and it allows the customer to be confident of your solution that you're offering. Now that's a very brief introduction to Ease and Ease Focus in particular. So I would encourage you if this is interesting to contact your Biamp account manager or Biamp distributor or even support at biamp.com if you want to learn more about this very interesting and powerful piece of software. Another way that we support you is installation references. So it could be that you go to a retail environment and a customer says, oh, I only know one pair of speakers. I'm not gonna mention it here, but we all know what they're talking about. Um, and they may not necessarily know the name BIAP. And that's very common because we're a professional audio company. So we're not known to people that uh, are making a shop or running a shop. Um, so what we've done is we've got a, a number of installation references. So this one is on the Apart Audio rep website. So this shows me 
buy applications or in this case retail this is just four i think again there's about 30 on the website there where you can um, go into an, an application for example crew in antwerp that's a um, a supermarket in the center of antwerp so you can go into that application get some background of exactly what that project is about what equipment was used and some nice images to help you understand how the products can be used and then another one there is the night store in israel where um, this was actually a, a, a test store for uh, the whole of their european operations and you can't quite see it on that application but there's mask uh, sorry cubo loudspeakers uh, on the light rail at the back there so this is another way that we assist you and support you for your efforts. And then another way is marketing collateral. So we have a specific retail brochure um, and we also have different inserts for different verticals. So for example, here we have one for fashion stores and one for large retail and department stores. So this allows you when you're going to see a retail customer to take something to them which they can understand. So rather than focusing on the products, which can be quite technical, and would blind the customer with science let's say it allows you to speak in their language talk about what they're comfortable with and show them images of things that they're comfortable with so this can go along with your offer or bid for a project if you like so again these are available um, from your buyer account manager or from your local distributor so supporting you in retail um, we have a, a team couple of guys here, business development support, Raf Williams. Happy birthday to Raf Williams today, by the way. He's our vertical, market, vertical marketing manager or market manager for retail in Europe and Africa. And Bill McCann is his counterpart in North America. So these guys in North America and in Europe and Africa can assist you with if you need to go to see a corporate client who's looking for assistance in their retail chain, for example. So larger developments, if you like. Okay, so that's about the end of the presentation as I see it. One last thing before we go, there are some other buy-in webinars I wanted to mention. So Large Venue, I think is uh, later this week. Uh, room Acoustics for Designers, Vertical Market Conferencing, Sound Masking, Room Acoustics for Designers, again, and the Parlay Beam Tracking Microphone. So there's a very good range of webinars. I know a lot of us aren't able to go about our normal business, so it's a great time for learning right now. So go to buyamcom forward slash training Fortress webinars, and you can get full details and be able to register on any of these webinars. So lastly, I'd like to thank you. I'd like for all, all of you to stay safe and stay healthy and uh, all of our best wishes from everyone at Biome. I've left my details here um, and you'll get a copy of this tomorrow. And at any time, any questions, you can also email support at biome.com. Thank you once again for your time and we'll end the webinar there. Thank you, bye. Thank you.